Hey everybody, my name's Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. Before we start, what's your scent of the day or scent of the night? Leave a comment down below. Today we're talking about another new release from their house of MYs. It seems like they're coming out with new ones left and right, right? This one here is from, they have an exclusive line. This has, this is number 14. This is MYs and this is Royale Tobac, Tobacco. So this one, is I think uh, $360 if I'm correct. Nevertheless, it's a 100 ml bottle. And um, this fragrance here is basically a tobacco-based scent. So they have a lot of notes in it, so I'll post notes on the screen, you guys can take a look, but I'll go over a few of them. We have tobacco, cardamom, elamine resins, bergamot. So I'll show you the bottle right here so you guys can see the bottle. It was awesome. I went to the Neiman Marcus, shout out to the nice lady that works there. I know all the ladies and guys that work there, so they kind of know me by name and they know I do YouTube, so. It's a given, right? <laughs> Another fragrance here, I have a spray here on my wrist. Dude, it's it's an awesome fragrance. I literally can tell you right now that this one here is a, like a, to me, it's a, absolutely 10 out of 10. It smells that great with the tobacco and the sweet fragrance. Now, when I first sprayed on my skin, I had to wait a few seconds, because it was very strong, hit you right in the face. Like, as soon as you spray it, it's like a brick wall, like, in your face, you get that, um, beast mode projection. And then I, d I did get a little hints of like the uh, Zerzhov Naxo, but then it kind of went away after a good maybe 10, 15 minutes. But you get a freshness with the bergamot opening. Okay, just a tad bit, but then it goes right into this tobacco heavy uh, fragrance. You're getting some cardamom and some myrrh as well. You're definitely getting some woody notes in it. You're definitely getting a lot of incense in the background. So if you're not a fan of incense, you may not like this fragrance. It, this is one that it's great for the fall and winter time. This is one where it is expensive. It is. The 360 is a lot of money for uh, and wash fragrance, but if you're looking for a great fragrance to wear in the colder months, when you know when it's really freezing outside, you want a fragrance that's gonna last and perform and will give you that oomph power, this is a fragrance here. This bottle presentation is beautiful magnetic cap. This one is gonna cut through that cold winter weather when it's maybe 15 degrees outside, 30 degrees, 40 degrees outside. I wanna say maybe three sprays should be enough. I don't think you need to go trigger happy with it. Maybe two, three sprays, it's gonna cut through the weather. It's a sweet, it's boo It's slightly boozy, but not really boozy, but slightly boozy. The tobacco is the main note. There's some incense, some lavender as well. And there's a bunch from a lot. There's this one is the tobacco. They have a oud one. They have a leather one and a rose one as well. This is number 14 from the collection. To me, it's a masterpiece. I don't want to go crazy, but you have to definitely check this fragrance out from House of M. Y. A lot of time, you know, I don't really hype up fragrances. I don't. I don't want to be that guy that, oh yeah, Chris said it's that great. Or Crowder Fragrance said it was amazing and I bought it and it was crap. This is an amazing tobacco scent. If you love the note of tobacco and the sweetness of tobacco and the sweet, this fragrance is going to be comforting. It's great to sit by a fireplace and wear this fragrance with your significant other. It's great to wear to work as well. Maybe tone the spray sprays down in the winter time. This is one you can wear to a board meeting. You can actually wear it dress up. You go into church or going to family gatherings. This is going to make us this a statement maker fragrance. Now this is one where you should definitely highly suggest get a sample or a decan and go to your boutique and try it out because just because I praise this fragrance, you may think it's too heavy heavy as a tobacco scent. But I like tobacco, I like leathery scents as well. So this one here is definitely one I could see myself buying in the future and actually making my top 10 fall or winter list. This is mainly a fall and winter based fragrance. I wouldn't wear this in the spring, wouldn't wear it in the summer in my opinion. But if you feel like you can get away with lesser sprays in the spring, that's fine. It's gonna be too coin for the fall, for the summer. It's gonna be too heavy for the hot weather outside. This is strictly a cold weather based fragrance. Performance is great. I easily got a good two hours of very heavy projection. It's still type of projection now. Um, it's been almost, I've been on my skin for about four hours now. So the first two hours is very heavy. I had to calm down by like that third hour mark and it's still on my skin now. Easily you're probably gonna get eight to 10 hours on your skin. Might get more, but most likely average is eight to 10 hours you should get on your skin wearing this fragrance here with about a minimum between two to four sprays. Uh, Kelly likes this one as well, which is always a plus. Um, she prefers this one more 
than the search one that I did a video on a couple of days ago. But nevertheless, you should definitely try them both out because search is more of a fresh type of fragrance and Royale tobacco is more of a tobacco incense sweet fragrance. But man, this fragrance is amazing. I'm definitely gonna get me a bottle of it. You know, I may not buy it right away. I might have to wait a little bit to save us some money. But this fragrance, if you're a hardcore tobacco lover and incense and sweet fragrance, you need to buy this fragrance. You need to try it out this fragrance in your life, man. If you tried this fragrance out, let me know in the comment section below do you like it, love it, or hate it? What's your favorite tobacco scent on the market, whether it's designer or niche? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching another video. If you like these type of content, please share the support by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Like the video if you like this type of content want to see more of it on YouTube. And don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss any future fragrance uploads on my channel. Be safe, everyone, and I'll catch you in my next video very soon. Peace.